So hello there guys and welcome to Eva's Fly Workshop. What's up? Um, hope, you, hope you're doing hope you're doing well, all of you. Um, today we'll be tying an Icelandic pattern called Mobuto. We have more than one or two Mobutos in the flora of Icelandic uh, flies, but uh, this one is closest to the kind of the original one. The thread we are using, we are using a Semperfly Nano Silk uh, 50 denier uh, black one. And we are using a traditional nymph number 12 from Arex. And, uh, and we are using a vinyl rib, like a medium vinyl rib for the body of the fly. And for the, for the thorax we are using uh, black wool for the collar. And uh, you'll start by start preparing the preparing the vinyl rib. So I'm cutting it like in a 45 degrees angle to try to make it easier to catch it down with the thread. Sometimes it works, sometimes it does not work. But uh, we'll catch it down like this. So uh, make it sure it's tight down. You can actually, if you want to, use like a small vinyl rib for this fly. It kind of depends on your on your place. I would say type it both with midi, medium, and and small. So yeah, this was like a brief list of the. Uh, of the authors of the Mobuto, we have at least, uh, at least as I know, three registered Mobutos uh, in some books and magazines, and then we have the fourth one, which uh, my mentor used to make, and he called it Mobuto as well, and that is very similar like this one that we are tying. So people were kind of tying the same pattern. They used, back in the days, they used Svanundes, Svanundes, Instead of the uh, instead of the uh, vinyl rip, but uh, everything like uh, somebody said, like everything tied with a vinyl rip, and in this style, you can as I said you can call that a mobuto. It's a very strong fly. We have many variations of it, and uh, it uh, imitates a nymph, and it's a uh, nymph on one on quite like a like uh, early stage nymph and it's really really strong fly when it comes to fishing especially for arctic char uh, for the color of the fly we are uh, dubbing the black wool for the color and we have to tear this uh, dubbing material apart this is rather uh, thick like a grainy wool i would uh, suggest that you use the finest dubbing material you have but uh, by the by the hand I have only this uh, black wool but it's gonna do the job just just fine just like any other uh, particular dubbing materials and we snap off a little bit a little bit of a excess existing uh, material yeah remember to like share and subscribe and uh, if you guys want to support the channel you can do that at, uh, you can go to a buymeacoffee.com slash flugusmidjan. It's going to be in the video's description and you can also hit the uh, bar here, which I'm going to place in the video. If you want to support, support me and my work and the channel and all the effort I've been putting into the into this, uh, you can support me by buying me a cup of coffee there. <laughs> it, would, it would be really appreciated, but... Uh, it's um, not going to be anything like Patreon or anything. It's gonna. It's just an option for you guys to say a decent thank you if you want. The videos, your videos are still going to be free. Um, next step in the fly, anyway. That is the um, wings or the wing butts. It's like tiny wing butts we are using, and I'm using actually a white poly yarn for it, and just a tiny bit of it. And we take that like so. You can use a white or even a grey one. 
and make it like a tight seal it wraps down there and we snip it off right about right about here so it sticks out just like a little wings that sticks out of the side of the fly somebody would say this is just a buzzer what the heck and you can actually in in a way you could agree with that and say yeah it's a buzzer just one of them buzzers but <clears throat> this fly is in Iceland in this uh, tied with this method and with these materials that's something that we call Mobuto Jon Pedersen made one, Jon Sigurdsson made one, Skuli made one, and then another guy called Einar made one. So there are so many of them. And uh, yeah, of course you can tie this fly with a bead if you like. That is, uh, depends on the depth you are fishing in, which you wish to, if you wish to have a bead on it. Um, yeah, white antron or polyarn. I think it's an antron. It doesn't matter. As long as it's white and sticks out like this and imitates the wings that are just starting to grow out of the out of the thorax of the fly, it's gonna do the job just perfectly. Uh, we are going to do a big finish job and a couple of knots maybe. And this is, like I said, this is a really, really strong fly when it comes to spring fishing, like in May. Spring in Iceland is in May. <laughs> and it's still a lot of cold, but the, it's, the fish is biting at the time, and uh, this fly is an excellent option for, for that season. Actually, the Maputo fly, you know, you can use it all season long, and it's one of them flies that uh, is going to give you results, good results all the season. Uh, now there is nothing, actually nothing left except to uh, coat the hat with uh, either hat cement or just whatever you have. I'm using a Solaris Bone Dry or Bone Cure and uh, I had really good experience with that and uh, it's like uh, easy to put it on. The brush is narrow and it's really nice. Make the wing here just a bit just a bit shorter. It's just supposed to like this, just stick out a little bit. And uh, yeah, this is a bone cure Solaris uh, product I'm using. And then we are going to sap it with our UV light and hope that uh, you like the video and all that. Remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Help us to grow. Support the channel if you, follow, if you want, perhaps. Uh, but until next time, I just want to say thanks for watching, remember to like, share and subscribe, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video.